Got it. Thank you, Jeff. Um, I'm here to talk about the role of the technical director. Now, all the information that I have uh, can be gleaned from the AACT.org website. Um, that's very overview on each one of these theater uh, professions do, technical director, director, sound designer, light designer, et cetera. Uh, but in a nutshell, if you ever want to go back for referencing or information, you can go to aact.org. And then in the search, just type in whatever you're looking for. Um, what a technical director does is, is responsible for all the technical aspects of a show. Um, whatever theater they're part of, the technical director coordinates uh, everything, including uh, set design, lighting design, sound design, uh, costumes, props, uh, uh, the uh, usually runs the set build as far as the Kirk players are concerned. Uh, tries to know as much as possible about each one of that, but wants each separate area to remain autonomous within themselves. Meaning, uh, runs the production meetings uh, from a technical aspect, uh, takes input from the director, the assistant directors, the stage managers, and then all of the heads. Now, uh, most theater groups have uh, a technical director alongside as part of the production staff, and then they have leads. Uh, we at Kirk Players have a sound designer, a lighting designer, a set designer, costume designer, uh, makeup person, uh, props, mister or mistress, etc. cetera. Uh, the tech director usually uh, acts as the master carpenter or assigns somebody to be the master carpenter. So uh, in my day job at the, the high school, I'm the master carpenter for all the set builds. I'm not the technical director for all the shows. That responsibility is shared uh, across many different people, Jeff Harding included, um, uh, Sarah Gunther, uh, Jonathan Meyer, uh, Mark Landite, et cetera. Uh, but I usually head up building all the sets. Uh, when I am not the technical director, I do take my direction from the technical director, as Jeff can attest to. So they're not, the technical director and the master carpenter are not one and the same, uh, but usually uh, sometimes they are. Uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to give an overview of what each one of them does because uh, uh, I don't want to waste a lot of people's time and somebody I believe, uh, Jeff, if you can hold up when I, I have five minutes left and then two minutes and then I'll wrap it up, uh, I would appreciate it. Uh, during the production meetings, a technical director will runs the meeting. Uh, we talk about what we need to do. We schedule uh, the set build and the set takedown. Uh, we assign duties based on what the tech leads uh, have come up with. So, uh, to to be perfectly honest, I have not worked on a show where I was responsible for everything, thank goodness. Um, I rely on the expertise of many, many different Kirk players and the hands of many, many different Kirk players when it comes to uh, building a set. Uh, the most, a couple of the most important things that we do before Tech Week is uh, I rely on my set designer, I rely on my sound designer, my lighting designer, uh, my props, Mr. or Mistress, and then my um, costume and makeups to make sure everything is set. Now, I know we've got stuff set up uh, for each one of those different uh, crew chiefs, if you want to call them that. Uh, so I'm not going to get into what they do uh, because I know that we're, we're having, like Brenda's going to come up next and she's going to talk about set design and go into details of what a, a set designer does. Uh, but a uh, technical director is the person that solves the problems uh, before they happen and then solves them on the fly uh, during the actual set build. 
most of the work outside of the meetings during the actual rehearsal process that a technical director does is during production week. Uh, during production week, the technical director has to make sure that they have the right access uh, to the stage. Uh, for the most part, we use Mundelein High School, but uh, in the past, we've used Dunia. We set up shows um, or previews of shows at the library, um, uh, other places like that. Um, and the technical director is usually the person that is being kept in the loop on where everyone is at uh, while the process is being done. Thank you, John. Um, if anybody has any questions, like I said, I go to Real High Overview. Um, we can open it up for a few questions and answers because most of the day-to-day -day and minutia of what uh, each crew chief does is specific to their certain areas. Uh, as tech director, we just want to make sure uh, that everybody's got what they need to do the jobs that they volunteered for, and if they don't, to try to get them at it by any means possible. So, um, Jeff, if I don't know, do it by raising hands if anybody has a question. Does anybody Jeff, have a question? I, Jeff, I can't read the, the chat. My screen's too far away. Are there any questions in the chat that you want to uh, call oh, out? Yeah, one second. yeah, Randy, Randy uh, put one in there to be a tech director in KP. Do you need to have prior experience as a tech lead in some or all of the categories? Actually, no, that is a very good question, Randy. Thank you for asking it. Go, uh, Randy. We have, we have so much knowledge within the core group of uh, the Kirk players that anyone who is interested in doing all any of that work, we encourage them to go out. Uh, and as such as even with the sound and the light board that we use at the high school, uh, Sarah Gunther uh, is able to do workshops for anybody who is willing to learn. I know a lot of the uh, older Kirk players who've been around a while uh, had a little baptism of fire, but there are certain people that we go to if we need some to help. So if somebody that's new to Kirk players or, or somebody that's been a Kirk player for a while and is interested in doing something new, uh, for example, uh, this is including but not limited to, uh, if I wanted uh, somebody's expertise on set design, I'd go right to Brenda. If I wanted lighting, I'd go to Chuck. If I wanted sound, uh, the person to go to right now is Martin because Martin has been doing sound. Props has always been Fran. Uh, costumes has been Fred, but everybody else has been uh, just easy to jump in. Um, also, uh, not just technical positions. If you want to stage manage, if you want to assistant stage manage, if you want to assistant direct or direct, that is part of the production team. And there is always a Kirk player who is the resident. Um, most of the stuff I learned about building sets in the last 10 years, believe it or not, and some of you might uh, know this, is uh, by John Dobbins. Uh, when I first started as the Kirk Players, I followed him around like a puppy, uh, asking him, you know, what do I do? Because it had been, fits I built a set uh, when I was in college, on, um, you know, community theater, uh, before I went back to work for, you know, 15 years before I started doing theater again. So, Anybody in the tech players uh, can do that. Um, yeah, we got, uh, Brenda, we got two more questions. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got well, I got one more. Um, okay. uh, actually, I got two. Would you describe the tech director for KP as a coordinator? Yes, I would. Uh, the tech director uh, coordinates all the technical aspects of the show and is the go-to person. And that technical director also uh, coordinates things with the stage manager, the director, and the assistant director, and then the rest of the production team. Um, the last question, uh, somebody wrote, I get con concerned about knowing what I can do at MHS for build sets and strikes and what not to use or throw out. Is this something you can address now or at a mo more robust TD overview? Uh, there should be guidelines because, uh, and Jeff will attest to this, we deal with students a lot. Uh, and we borrow stuff from the Kirk players or from the, the high school. One of the good things about both Jeff and I being staff at Mundelein High School is we can make a call on the fly uh, as to whether we're going to keep something or throw something out. And I don't think the Kirk players in the high school have an issue with if we've ever borrowed 
as Kirk players, a two by four or some wood from the high school, or, or the high school has borrowed something from us. We store our, our flats there. We store a lot of our wood there. Uh, most of the smaller stuff, the personal stuff is stored in our storage locker. So thanks for all those questions. Uh, I will throw it back to either Jeff or Peter, who's ever running the show. All right, Thank, thanks, Tom. Appreciate that. It was a great overview, much oh. appreciated. And uh, so Jeff, you're gonna stop that recording